Here comes a new challenger! Hey guys, so today in King of Fighters All-Stars, the greatest fighting game sumo wrestler of all time joins King of Fighters All-Stars. No, not E. Honda. No, not Gan Ryu. Make me sick. Not even Sumo Santa, although he is a close second. It's Hinako, baby. The greatest sumo wrestler in fighting game history. She's at least the most different looking. Uh, her and Sumo Santa, I'd say. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about Hinako, of course, but I'm just going to cover a couple things really quick in this update. Uh, not a huge deal, but there is a new super mission here. Uh, you can do this to get a bunch of like imprint stones so and hammers. That's always nice. You can never have enough of those, especially uh, these like higher rarity hammers. So make sure to do that. I have not been able to do any of this yet, so <laughs> I'm excited to finally be free enough to do this. And a dice game. So uh, you can do this by a, in a bunch of different modes. You get dice doing this. Like, look, I got some without even trying. Just roll the dice. See where you go. Oh, six. Too good at this. So we can do that. Um, and then uh, the cool thing is if you get somehow uh, 20 rounds completed, you get a dimensional invitation purple, which is nuts. Um, that's like... To make this, if you're brand new, is like having to sacrifice three, uh, you know, memories of a fest character just so you can get one memory for a, a collab character, essentially. Um, you also get a gold one that's for yellow border characters, not that big of a deal to make those. Uh, rubies are nice, you know, there's some cool stuff in here, but the really big one. Uh, for me at the end here is of course you know the rubies and then the dimensional invitational invitation so make sure to you're just gonna get this naturally so i like the dice events because you don't have to go too much out of your way to like get somewhere but if you're going to try to get, go 20 rounds around this you're gonna you're gonna be at it for a bit so without further ado we're gonna talk about hinako so i think Hinako, we haven't had a character in the regular banner since, like, Kim. Yeah, because it went from Kim, if I remember correctly, it went from Kim to, like, the Seven Deadly Sins characters to, like, the new BS characters and then the new SS characters, right? And then now we got Hinako. So she's, like, the first one <laughs> in a while. So... Hinako is a yellow defense type. Her leader skill increases grab uh, skill damage by 65% and obtains 5% power upon using grab skills. She has two grab skills, I'll show you. Just make it 100%, Netmarble. Don't be cowards. Just make it 100%. Let's make, like, the coolest grab team in the game. That's what I want to see. Uh, I think grab characters are kind of more weaker in general, but anyways... Uh, here are her core effects. Grants super armor for 3 seconds when using a grab skill. That only has a 10 second cooldown. That's not that long. Um, so, and she has 2 grab skills. So there's that. <clears throat> and uh, she casts a shield that absorbs damage for 5 seconds uh, uh, when attacked at, if HP is 50% or less. Removes the shield when attacked 10 times. So... Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a pretty big shield that'll absorb a pretty... If you're getting juggled, that'll absorb a pretty decent chunk of it, hopefully. Give you a chance to recuperate. Um, it'd be really cool if they gave her a move that uh, she can do while being attacked, which I didn't think that they did, but that would be nuts comboed with that, right? Um, but here's her first skill here. So uh, it does starlight damage. We see a starlight girl. And, of course, you know what Starlight does, the dot and all that good stuff. But uh, uh, her PvP exclusives has a 50% chance to remove the target's super armor or hyper armor upon landing a skill on a target with super armor or hyper armor. Those are always great in PvP. Those are, like, the two strongest things in the game, basically. Uh, this one decreases, the second one, decreases damage received by 80% for 4 seconds, and it's a grab. So that's good stuff there. And the third one has an 80% chance to break target's guard upon landing the skill, even if they're guarding, uh, and, it did, and it disables their guard 
for four seconds, so they can't block again. And this is probably the coolest part about her. She has that same PvP exclusive on this move as well. So she has it on her grab, her last grab, and her first, like, slappy move. So I don't know... There's a lot of characters that have this PvP exclusive where they can break uh, super armor and hyper armor. I think, like, Baseball Vanessa is one of them. Uh, but I don't... I can't think of anybody who has two of them. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so she is going to be... And on paper, she'll be, you know, a threat in PvP because she can break all your super strong stuff, man. <laughs> Including your guard. There's a lot of characters that benefit a lot from guarding. And guarding is just really good. But she can also grab you. And I, I think she's going to be pretty solid and fun in PvP. I don't think she's going to be that... She's not that great for PvE. There's so many better characters. Alright guys, I know it's a really short video, but that's going to be it for me. I think Hanako's really cool. I'm glad that they put her in. Uh, I know she's not the most popular character ever. Uh, but I think it's cool that they're taking time, uh, you know, taking the time to make some characters that are still loved, but, uh, you know, aren't the most popular ever. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that. I'll be It'll be cool to see who they put in next, because the only Hanako I think in the game at the moment is like that Cherry Blossom one. I think she has like a, I think she has a decent, was it balance, balance skill leader, leader skill, but uh, this is the first, this is the first one, and she's fast. I think a lot of people were surprised. Uh, I don't know how many more yellow bordered characters they're gonna come out with. I'm not really sure, but uh, I think a lot of people were expecting her to be just a yellow border. But I'm glad they made her fast because that would have been a bummer, right? Imagine being like a huge Hinako fan, and then they just come out with two yellow bordered character like versions of her. So you basically just not unusable. Her other one has a pretty decent leader skill, but I, I'm glad that they, they're they doing this. Um, so it'll be cool to see who they put in next. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I would also like to uh, say thank you for all the get well wishes. I know most people who uh, uh, watch my channel is for King of Fighters All-Stars content. So I know I've said thank you in a previous video, but uh, I was out of commission for a little bit. I'm still kind of recovering and it'll take me a pretty long time, but uh, you know, I'm able to make some videos now. So even if they're not the best quality with my camera and everything, I have like a new setup. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for the get well wishes and everything. It means a lot to me. That was really cool. Um, but yeah, I want to wish you luck in any of the summons that you do. Uh, God bless you guys and you have a blessed day, y'all.